Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Peter here with Evo Gimbals. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Panasonic GH4 or GH5 so that you can control the basic functions like shutter and start and stop record uh, right from the handle of your Rage 3. Uh, so to get started, what you're gonna to wanna to do is find your camera control cable bag that came with your gimbal. Uh, locate the Panasonic CTIA002 uh, cable connector. This is the shortest one in the bag. Uh, there is a 90 degree 2.5 millimeter TRRS connector on one side and then a standard micro USB 90 degree connector on the other side. Um, so what this is going to do is we are going to plug this right into the side of the GH4 and then plug this into the tilt motor of the gimbal. Now one thing to make note of is that on the GH4 and the GH5 the remote the remote port on these cameras is kind of in a funky location. Uh, it's right here on the left side of the camera, which just happens to be uh, here on the left side of the camera tray uh, where the vertical adjustment arm is. So there is a little bit of a limited amount of clearance here, uh, but I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to set this up real quick. So uh, I'm gonna temporarily power off my motors, hold the mode button down to put them into standby, and then I'm gonna just loosen up my camera tray here and I'm going to slide my camera forward so I can easily access the remote port here. So I'm going to open up the door, rotate this, and then you can plug in the 2.5 millimeter connector into the port and make sure it's seated all the way. And so you're going to want to rotate the cable up just like this. And now you can actually just slide your camera back until it's into until it's back into uh, the balanced position that you had it set previously. Call that good. And then on the other side of the cable here, what you're going to do is plug in uh, the 90 degree connector into uh, the micro USB port on the back side of the tilt motor, just like this. So now we can power our motors back on and go into the gimbal menu to set the camera control protocol. So we'll power the motors back on and to access the menu in here to set this up for Panasonic, what you're gonna do is use the quick dial here on the handle. You're gonna press the menu on the bottom of the dial and then you're gonna scroll down to select the camera option in the menu. Uh, to select this, you're going to press the right side of the dial and then you're going to be presented with three different camera manufacturer options, uh, Canon, Sony, and Panasonic. So we're going to select Panasonic from the menu by rotating the dial until the little dot highlights Panasonic and then you can click the right side of the dial to set it. The gimbal is going to display a check mark indicating that the settings have been saved. Uh, but there's one more step that you need to do uh, to complete the connection and that is power cycle your gimbal so those settings truly take effect. So let's go ahead, we're gonna power this off, press and hold the power button down for two seconds. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna power up our camera and then power up our gimbal, press and hold for two seconds. And now you just heard that beep that means that it actually just triggered uh, the start shutter of the camera. So we can press it again to stop recording. Uh, that's how you set up your camera for the GH5 and the Rage 3. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us uh, online on our website. We have a live chat feature, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. You can also reach out uh, to support at Evo Gimbals. I um, hope this helped you again and remember to keep it smooth. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, go now. Just, just go. Go to the next video. It's coming. Just wait. Just wait. It's coming. Just wait. Be patient. Thanks guys.